Today we will discuss the slope of a line. When a runner has to go up a hill, the steeper the hill, the more challenging the climb is. This aspect of steepness is what is called the slope of the hill or the slope of the line which defines the hill. When the slope of a line is considered, a way of measuring steepness is needed. The second line is steeper than the first line. As a result, the slope of the second line should be greater than the first line. The method of measuring the slope of a line is what is going to be discussed in this presentation. To move from point A to point B, there is a vertical rise of 4.3 cm and a horizontal run of 9.7 cm to reach point B. To move from point C to point D, there is a vertical rise of 4.3 cm and a horizontal run of 4 cm to reach point D. The second line is steeper than the first. The value of the ratio of rise to run of the second line is greater than the first. The ratio of rise to run representing the steepness of line AB is called the slope of line AB. Slope may also be thought of as a set of directions of how to move from one point on the line to another. To move from point A to point B, we need to rise 4.3 cm and run 9.7 cm to the right. Working on a sheet of graph paper makes it easy to calculate the distances needed to move from one point to another on a given line. As such, we will calculate the ratio of rise to run by counting the number of boxes represented by rise and the number of boxes represented by run as we move from point A to point B following the red line segments. The ratio of rise to run is equal to 4 to 2 or 2 to 1 and it is equal to the slope of line AB. Using the same line AB, let's pick two different points C and D on line AB and calculate the ratio of rise to run for line AB using points C and D. When calculating the slope of a line, the ratio of rise to run is always the same regardless of which two points are chosen on the given line. Thus, every line has a unique number which represents its slope. The value of rise may be calculated by subtracting the ordinates of points D and C. The value of run may be calculated by subtracting the abscesses of points D and C. We will now describe our observations of the value of the slope of line AB and the value of the ratio of the difference of the y-coordinates of points B and A to the difference of the x-coordinates of points B and A as shown by the values highlighted in yellow. Two values highlighted in yellow remain equal to each other. In general, if the coordinates of the two points on a line x1, y1 and x2, y2, the formula for finding the slope of that line is the difference of the y coordinates of points 2 and 1 divided by the difference of the x coordinates of points 2 and 1. A line that goes up from left to right has a positive slope. A slope of a line may be written as either a decimal or fraction.
A line that goes down from left to right has a negative slope. A slope of a line may be written as either a decimal or fraction. A line that goes down from left to right has a negative slope because the, its slope is defined as a ratio of fall to run. In order to move from point C to point D, there is a vertical fall and a horizontal run to reach point D. The slope of a horizontal line is zero. This is because the y-coordinates of points E and F are equal and their difference rise is equal to zero. Zero divided by any non-zero number is equal to zero. The slope of a vertical line is undefined. This is because the x-coordinates of points G and H are equal and their difference run is equal to zero. Any number divided by zero is undefined. We will now review some related problems. Problem number one. Find the slope of the line passing through point A whose coordinates are 3 comma 4 and the point B whose coordinates are 4 comma 6. Solution. We will use the slope formula. The difference of the y coordinates of points B and A is equal to 2. The difference of the x-coordinates of points B and A is equal to 1. The slope of a line passing through points A and B is 2 to 1 or 2. Problem number 2. Find the slope of a line passing through point C whose coordinates are negative 2, comma 3 and the point D whose coordinates are 4, 5. Solution. We will use the slope formula. The difference of the y-coordinates of points D and C is equal to 2. The difference of the x-coordinates of points D and C is equal to 6. After reducing 2 over 6 to the lowest terms, the slope of a line passing through points C and D is 1, 2, 3. Problem number three. Find the slope of a line passing through point E whose coordinates are negative three comma four and the point F whose coordinates are eight negative seven. Solution. We will use the slope formula. The difference of the y coordinates of points F and E is equal to negative 11. The difference of the x-coordinates of points f and e is equal to 11. After reducing negative 11 over 11 to the lowest terms, the slope of a line passing through points e and f is negative 1 over 1 or negative 1. To get an access to all 211 video presentations for high school geometry, please visit www.jumpingjack.com slash discoveries in mathematics.